Hi, this is T-Mike, and today's video will be on sanding and painting and decaling a vintage outboard hood. So enjoy the video here at T-Mike's Vintage Outboards. We're doing it one motor at a time. Alright, so I've moved the hood to the outdoor portion of my shop. I have two stations here. I have one station for cleaning and this other station for sanding. So I have my simple green cleaner and a little WD-40 if I got to knock some real grease off. And I got my wire brush and I'll get my drill and I'll start uh, now I've already started cleaning her. I've already power washed her, so I got most of the stuff off, but I'm gonna hit her with some uh, of this sip of green and get her ready for sanding. All right, I got my DeWalt 20 volt drill with a soft wire brush on it. So I'm gonna start on the inside. So I got her cleaned up. I'm gonna set her out in the sun for a couple hours, let her dry off, and then we're gonna start sanding. All right, so oil's been out in the sun for a couple hours. It's all dried off. I'm gonna start off by cleaning the inside, the underneath, and I'll use some uh, piece of 220 grit sandpaper to get in there and. and break the rust off and scratch everything up so the paint will stick. I use uh, electric palm sander. This is a Black and Decker 110 palm sander. And I'm going to start with a pad on it with a 120 grit. This is the sandpaper I use, Diablo 120 grit. And I'm going to work on that, uh, that outside with the 120. Get it all cleaned up good then I'm gonna come back with a 220 grit and get it completed off this is the hard part it takes a while you don't really need to get all the paint off you just want to get all the scratches all these scratches got to be even flush where you can run your hand over it and can't feel those scratches so this 120 will actually get into the metal and even that out painting now so this hood is for restore number 77 which is a 1958 seven and a half horsepower Johnson it's got two colors to it it's got the red and the almond so for the red I love this paint rust-oleum gloss protective enamel the burgundy burgundy color for the white color, I use the almond, rust-oleum, gloss protective enamel, almond color. 
All right. So before masking, I'm gonna put the first color, which will be the red. I'm gonna paint the red portion with a light coat. The first coat is gonna be a light coat. I'm also gonna paint the inside all with the red, no masking. All right. So I'm gonna do one coat lightly. I'm gonna let it dry for at least 24 hours. 48 hours is better. And then I'm gonna hand sand it with 220 grit and put the second coat a little, a little heavier. Let that dry 24 hours. I'm gonna sand it lightly with 1000 grit. And then I'm gonna apply the third coat, a little thicker. It should come out very good. All right, so let's get started on, on the paint. All right, that concludes the first coat. Remember, you want it real light. You almost want to be able to see through it so that first coat can really stick, not too thick, so it has time to stick before you start applying more paint, thicker paint. All right, 24 hour drying and sanding and then second coat. Okay, so we let the first coat dry. Now we're gonna work on the second coat. Uh, first thing we're going to do is take some 220 grit and we're going to sand it, lightly sand it. Now, I'm going to take the paint off, just want to smooth it. And then we're going to apply the second coat of our rust -Oleum. Okay, so now we're ready for the third and final coat of our first color, the burgundy. And first we're going to do some sanding with some 1000 grit. Just a real light sand to make it smooth and then apply the third coat a little thicker with this Rust-Oleum Burgundy. Okay, so that completes the first color. We applied three coats of the first color. Now we're getting ready to put the second color on, which is the almond. But first off, we have to mask it. We have to mask what we painted so far so that uh, we can apply the almond color. So I use two different kinds of uh, masking tape. First one I use is frog tape. It's a really good tape. It's elastic, so it stretches. So I use the frog tape around all the edges. Just apply it along all the edges. Use your fingernail to create the line on the edge. Okay. And then after I have all the edges done with the frog tape, I use this original blue masking tape to fill in the cracks. It's a little less expensive than the frog tape and it doesn't need to create any lines so do that so don't forget the inside is red burgundy so you don't want to get the almond paint in there so you got to mask this opening from the inside and you got to mask this opening and then i mask the whole bottom so that when you spray in the almond paint it doesn't get on your burgundy so i'm gonna go ahead and do the masking and get ready to do the painting
Now I've got all the top portion masked. I'm going to go ahead and take my razor blade knife and I'm going to trim all the edges. All right. Alright, so we now have her completely masked and trimmed. The only thing exposed is where the almond paint is going to go. So we're going to shoot the almond paint, masking complete. Okay, here's the third coat. I'm gonna sand with 1000 grit and then apply the third coat. Okay, so we got all three coats of the second color done now. So let it dry 24 hours. Now we're gonna remove all the masking tape with a razor knife. All right, there she is. Painted, came out pretty good. I do say so myself. All right, so we're gonna let her dry another day or two and then we're gonna put the decals on. Okay, we're ready for the final step. We're going to place the decals. So I get my decals from discontinued.com. And this is the spreader that comes with each order. So 
I'll show you how to place the decals. So you want to get a good idea of where you want it. This is a full decal. So there's a split in the hood right here. I want it between the N and the S. Right where that split is. And I want it even at the bottom and even at the top. All right. So what you do is you take a piece of this blue masking tape about the length of the decal. And you stick it on there. And then you get it in position. And then you Stick the decal. All right. Now, pull it up and pull the back adhesive off. And you bring it down in the center and out towards the sides. Then you take your spreader and you start from the center out. Okay, once you have that, we're gonna pull the blue tape off. And when you're doing this, you wanna pull the tape straight back, not out, straight back towards you. We're going to take our razor knife and we're going to pull the clear, well, first of all, let's hit it with the spreader again. And we're going to pull the clear adhesive off the top. Take our knife and we'll cut the decal where the split is. And we'll make sure that the hood opens. And it does. That's how you put a decal. And we'll go ahead and do all the decals. And that's how you put the decals on. Come on, pretty good, if I do say so myself. Hope you all enjoyed the video on how to clean, sand, paint, and decal a hood. Thank you all. Hope you enjoyed the video here at T. Mike's Vintage Outboards. 
We're doing it one motor at a time. Please click on subscribe. I guarantee to provide weekly videos. Thank you very much. Au revoir, mes amis, and laissez les bons temps rouler. Aïe!